Welcome once again. Today in this tutorial, we will talk about index union operation. When the SQL Server optimizer will touch multiple indexes, fetch the data out and join them by concatenating the data, that operation is called as index union. Note the word concatenation. Not very clear, right? Let's go and jump right away into the demo and then I'm, I'm hopeful it will be clear. I'm going to use Northwind 2 as an example. Northwind 2 has a table called orders. Let's go and check out all the indexes that are there on orders table. Amongst lot of indexes, take a special note uh, of these two attributes, order date and ship date. So there is a non-clustered index on order date and there is a non-clustered index on ship date. Now let's jump over to the actual query. The query uses both these attributes in the predicate. So what do you want? You want all the orders, uh, in this particular case only the order ID. So you want all the order IDs from the orders table where either the order date falls in the first week of Jan 1998 or the ship date is in the first week of 1998. Now take a note that this is an odd predicate. So either of the conditions could satisfy for the match to happen. Now let's go and execute this query. Let's select and turn on actual execution plan. Click on execute. You get the data out, jump over to the execution plan and let's see the execution plan. On the face of it, the execution plan might look simple, but there are a few tricky things involved. The first thing that, that you will observe is that the optimizer has leveraged or used both the indexes. It touches, it performs an index seek on the order date index and it also performs uh, an index seek on the ship date, which means it gets the matching data out from both the indexes and then it joins them by concatenating it. Now this is important. This is not a merge join or a loop join or a hash join. This is an union operation. This is a concatenation that has happened. And then after the data is concatenated, it performs a distinct sort operator. And this gets a bit confusing, but even before I explain distinct sort, let's take a step back and look at why has the optimizer used these two indexes and what was the need of performing an index union? Now, the key thing to note here is the OR operator. So either this condition should match or this condition should match. Now, one thing the optimizer could have done is just simply performed a table scan or rather a clustered index scan and just get the matching rows out following this criteria. That could have been a very straightforward clustered index scan operation job done. But the optimizer thinks that seeking on these two indexes and then concatenating it and then removing the duplicates was more cost effective and that's why it chooses this plan. So let's park that for the moment that yes, this is a more cost effective plan and the purpose of this demo is not to show you which plan is more cost effective. Now coming to the more most cost effective plan, which is this one right on your screen. Think about the optimizer using either of these indexes. Let's say the optimizer was not using two indexes here and it was just satisfying this predicate requirement either by order date index or ship date. Let's say if the optimizer was only using the order date index, only one index rather than using two indexes and concatenating and all of that. So if it was using only the order date index, it could have missed out all the orders that were not placed in the first week of Jan 1998, but were shipped in the first week of Jan 1998. And vice versa, if it were to use only the index on ship date, it could have missed out all the orders that were not shipped in the first week of Jan 1998, but the their orders were placed in the first week of Jan 1998. Yes, it's a little tricky. And that's why to match this requirement, and again, I repeat the, the trick here is this or keyword because it's an, it's an exclusive operator here, right? Either condition one or condition two. And for either of the condition to be satisfied, the optimizer lands up using both the indexes and then the matching data is concatenated. Now here is the catch, the last leg of this example why does the optimizer deploy a distinct sort operator? 
because when it is using both the indexes, there are chances that duplicate records may come out. So we're talking about orders that were um, placed in the first week of Jan 1998 and were also shipped, all the orders that were shipped, the same order that was shipped in the first week of Jan 1998, which means out of these two index C, there, there are chances that such duplicate records would come out. So what the optimizer does is to remove those duplicate orders, it first sorts them, which means it puts them next to each other adjacent and then remove the, removes the duplicates. Ooh, this was index union operation inside SQL Server. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there. Video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate SQL Maestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.